I've mentioned a few times that I consider Google's much acclaimed HDR plus camera software here in the Pixel 2 XL to be the spiritual successor to the PureView idea pioneered by Nokia back in 2007 and eventually brought to market in the Nokia 808 in 2012, the very phone that shoots the phone show, 2012, almost six years ago. For those in the know, these PureView ideas, they still dominate the world of phone photography. Let me explain. In each case, the idea is to construct the final image from data gathered on a larger scale. On the Nokia 808, the data was gathered on a monster 1 over 1.2 inch optical format 41 megapixel sensor, and then the noisy small pixels were mashed up algorithmically to produce a wonderfully pure JPEG by default at 5 megapixel, though its creative mode here in the tests in this phone show lets you up this to 8 megapixels. The 808 set the benchmark for phone cameras for years, along with its Windows running sister phone, the Lumia 1020, which was less flexible and also massively slower since it didn't have the 808 dedicated pure view image signal processor, the ISP. For the purposes of this phone show feature, I'm going to call the Lumia 950 from late 2015, the pinnacle of pure view phase two taking the 808's ideas but scaling things down to a 21 megapixel underlying sensor of more standard size but larger aperture, a class-leading many-axis OIS and impressive image processing and blending, this also outputs 8 megapixels, with the OIS meaning that the 950 can go places in terms of lighting that the Nokia 808 never could, at least not without a tripod. And now we have the Google Pixel 2 here in XL form with a similar size sensor, an OIS, but taking a totally different workflow and approach. Rather than do everything after a single capture, there's so much speed and processing power available now under the hood that the Pixel 2's HDR Plus camera software can simply take many photos very quickly using the full sensor resolution, then do all the averaging out of noise after the fact. In fact, the Pixel 2 goes further using a degree of machine learning to work out what you're trying to photograph, picture elements and so on, and then that helps establish edges, solidify areas of colour and get rid of artefacts. But how do these three classic pure view concepts compare in the real world? I realise it's a little unfair on the older phones, especially the Nokia 808 shooting this, since camera sensors have improved massively year on year, so newer is always better. But just how much of an improvement is the new Pixel 2 range above the classic 950 range and even more so the classic 808 phone cameras? Let's find out. I went out of my way to try and find shots which challenge the phone cameras in dynamic range and in terms of low light, since let's face it, any of these phones, or indeed the phone in your hand right now, can nail most casual photographs in good light. Let's start out with an outrageous into the sun, direct sun shot of a waterlogged field in the park with a sun reflecting off the water. Now the 808's Achilles heel is probably the sensor's limited dynamic range, but remember this was six years ago and relatively old sensor technology. As a result, you can have the water not blown out, but then you lose detail in the rest of the scene. The 2015 Lumia 950 does much better with more detail in the sky and green grass in the fields, while the Pixel 2's multiple exposure combination scheme produces effectively an HDR photo, artificial but with detail in the sky and on the ground, spectacular but hyper real. Cropped in to see the raw quality, the 808's photo looks out of focus. It uses contrast-based autofocus only and it makes a mess of this inter-sun shot. The 950 does better with its phase detection autofocus PDAF, but the grass still looks a bit like a watercolour painting, while the Pixel 2 again produces the best result, as still a little artificial and over-sharpened, but there's still more going on at this 8 megapixel resolution on the Pixel 2 XL. Next up, something easier and more standard, a church clock shot in weak winter sun against a bright sky. The 2012 Nokia 808 does well here, of course, with very natural image processing and accurate colours, while the Lumia 950 adds the characteristic warmer image processing and more saturated colours. Apparently people like them, though the Lumias usually overdo it. The Pixel 2's photo is similar to the 808's, but with more perceived detail and more contrast. Cropped in to see the raw quality again, the Nokia 808's oh-so-pure image looks slightly woolly today because we're so used to seeing sharpening from every phone camera. 
The Lumia at 950 adds processing and just enough sharpening and enhancement, but that yellow saturated look isn't accurate to real life. While the Pixel 2 XL is the best of both worlds, natural colors and good detail, on the edge of over sharpening without going too far. Inside the church in lowish light, things are getting tough if you don't have the tech to get longer or multiple exposures. The Nokia 808 really needs a tripod when light gets low, but most people don't carry one in their pockets, so I kept things normal as well and shot handheld. As a result, the photo is all there in terms of capturing the scene, but the uh, eighth of a second exposure means there's bound to be some hand wobble and everything's slightly blurred as a result. In contrast, the Lumia 950's photo is far more crisp, as you'd expect with top-notch OIS, yet the Pixel 2's photo is just amazing. Aside from blowing out the small stained glass window a bit, the detail and crispness of the photo is superb. Again, cropping in, you can see that handheld blur on the 808. The very good result on the Lumia 950 and the modern pure view phase three shot on the Pixel 2. It has more digital noise and artifacts than the 950 shot, but there's also amazing detail plucked in very indifferent light from a phone camera. Finally, we have a block of flats and shops at night, lit only by artificial light. Uh, the Nokia 808 is at its most disadvantageous here, of course, but I braced it against a wall and got a decent photo, even at one fifth of a second. Slightly darker than what my eyes saw, but a passable attempt. With great OIS, the Lumia 950 produces a scene with far more detail, far more content at the exact same fifth of a second exposure, thanks to the far larger aperture, f over 1.9. The Pixel 2 range also has OIS, of course, now, so it's not phased by the extreme low light, producing a pure view phase three multi shot combined scene that's not afraid to include some noise if it's part of texture, and as a result, arguably producing a photo with more genuine detail, yes, even than the Lumia. We can confirm all this by cropping right in, with the 808 showing good night detail thanks to my bracing, but I'll confess. <clears throat> I took three photos here and this was the best. There really is no substitute for a tripod. The 950 shows the purity of the oversampling and the effectiveness of uh, Microsoft's noise reduction, but you can't help but admire the compromise between data and noise in the Pixel 2 shot, which genuinely manages extra detail. Appropriately, if I look at the EXIF data for the Pixel 2 shot here, I see a quoted shutter speed of zero seconds. Because it's made up of around 10 intermediate shots, I'm guessing each around a hundredth of a second. So the exit data could lie and just call it a tenth of a second. But then again, the results are much better than such a shot would suggest. So put all this together in the late 2015 PureView Phase 2, the 950 here with good OIS and large aperture is often much better than Phase 1 on the 2012 808, unsurprisingly. And while the Pixel 2 XL, running what I'm calling Pure View Phase 3, combining multiple shots to achieve purity and detail, isn't dramatically better than the 950 XL, you could argue this toss either way, um, it can work more reliably in all lighting conditions. Uh, it takes shots and processes them much faster, an order of magnitude faster, 10 times. The laser focusing is much more consistent than the old tech, all of which meaning that it's the pick of the crop right now. And while Google may not call its HDR Plus software PureView, it's clearly the spiritual successor and relies on many of the same pixel combining ideas. Now, keen geeks will know that you don't necessarily have to have a pixel or a Nexus device to get the HDR Plus software either. It can be retrofitted, <coughs> XDA developers, to a select number of other Android flagships. Now, that's a feature, a tutorial for another day. It clearly works best on the OIS-equipped ISP-enhanced Pixel 2 range, though. Will Google put their new camera software tech in the Play Store one day? Will other manufacturers and developers create a clone or equivalent? Whatever. There's never been a better time to love camera phones.